Welcome back to Inside. I am here with Tim from the YMCA. Well, we think about it as a place to go exercise mm -hmm. um, or where I go to not exercise. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that right now. <laughs> <Okay>. um, <laughs> or maybe child care people mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. child care after school care. But it's a place where we can volunteer right. as well, isn't it? So That's tell right. me about some of the volunteer opportunities. Sure. Well, the YMCA, we're a charitable nonprofit. And so I know a lot of people think of us as a place to go to work out. But uh, the Y started off as a place where people go to serve. Mm -hmm. And originally volunteers ran the Y. And over the years, uh, people, you know, now we hire people yes. to, to do that work, but there's still a role for volunteers. So we think of two ways to volunteer. You can either do that in the Y, or you can do it through the Y in the community. So there's a lot of different ways you can do it in the Y. Uh, a big one would be through Child Watch. So if a member comes to work out, uh, we pay staff to care for those children for up to two hours while their parents okay. or family members are there do whatever they want to do. But we also uh, bring in volunteers to add an extra TLC for those children. So it could be, uh, you could volunteer to come in and read uh, for 20 minutes a week. Or uh, you could do that once a week or once a month or every day, you know, but come in. And uh, so if you're a college student and you want to um, earn credit for your education mm -hmm. degree or you're a senior adult and you want to come in and you want to read, uh, that's just a great opportunity, and that's an easy way. Uh, we do aquatics, so a lot of people learn how to swim at the Y. Right. Uh, in fact, the Y invented group swimming lessons, yes. I mean, a long time ago. Uh, but we can use volunteers, uh, especially for um, swim lessons for people with special needs. So we okay. hire swim instructors for people with special needs, uh, but we can also use volunteers to be in the water, just to be an extra hands or feet to help create a safe atmosphere, or when we run regular swim lessons for kids, just to have an extra hands on deck, just to be there and help the kids be safe, interact with them, and just make it an extra positive experience. Those are just a few examples. I would have never thought about the extra hands during the swim lessons. Mm -hmm. um, and what a great idea for like a grandparent whose kids don't live here, whose grandkids aren't here, and they just, you know, want to hang out with some kids yeah. some. They yeah. can come and volunteer in the Child Watch. That is a yeah. great idea. But I just want to know, who's working out for two hours? <laughs> well, you'd be surprised. Not me. I'm just saying. Oh, my well, gosh. Well, on that, some of those people that come to work out, and a lot of them are group exercise classes, so we ask some of them to volunteer. So if you go to the Y a lot, you could volunteer uh, to be what we call an ambassador. So if mm. it's your first time at the Y, your first time, you're a little nervous about going to your first group exercise class, we would have an ambassador who volunteers just to kind of welcome sure. them, introduce them to people. Uh, help them get oriented with their bike or just explain what we're going to do in the class today just to kind of be that welcoming face. Just another great way to volunteer. Yeah, it takes away the um, intimidation factor of yeah. exercising or, totally. or group X. So you said something about volunteering in the community through the Y. Tell yeah. me how that works. Sure. So we've uh, picked several partners that we do something with every month or several times a year. So NeighborLink Fort Wayne is a, mm -hmm. a big partner of ours. And so and they provide opportunities for members, whether it's just two or three people, or maybe one of our corporate members, and they bring a whole team of employees to volunteer in a neighbor's house, whether it's raking their yard, or uh, doing some painting, wide variety of things. NeighborLink's just a great partner. We do a lot with Big Brothers Big Sisters, so they're looking for matches, and so we're always recruiting our members to consider becoming a big, uh, and, and uh, getting a little boy or girl to be their little. And so we, you know, we partner with them, or with associated churches, they have food banks all around sure. the city, so our members can volunteer through the Y, and to help volunteer here at a food bank. Great ideas and you make it easy then yeah. you facilitate that. That makes yep. it so much yep. easier. So how do we do this? How do we become a volunteer through the Y? Sure. So we put out monthly uh, events and so you can go to our website fwymca.org and go there and you can search volunteer opportunities. We'll have something every month. Uh, but also if you just want to volunteer, uh, we have a spot where you can submit your name and phone number and just say I want to volunteer in a couple areas and we'll call you back and uh, get you connected. It's that easy. So easy and you should do it. Volunteer at the Y and through the Y. It's a great thing for you to do in this coming year in 2019. We'll be right back.